Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to highlight the values if it is above the average line in green and how to highlight it in red if it is below your average line. So this is what I have created over here. It's a line chart with a slicer that I have over here. You will see that the average is changing based on my selection of the category over here. If I select technology, then my average line changes. And then if it is above average, it will display here in green. And if it is below average, this will be highlighted here in red. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. So let's get started with this tutorial. Let me begin with creating a new page over here. And I will quickly go here. To my calendar table i'm going to create a chart using the year month that i have here in my calendar table if you don't know how to create a calendar table there's a video on my channel please see that video and then i have my total sales so this is what i have over here and then let me go here to the filter and bring in year because i have quite a few years in this particular data set let me just filter it out for 2020 and 2021 and let us change this quickly to a line chart and you will see something like this right now, let us add an uh, average line to this particular chart. So what we will do is we can go here to our analysis visual and click on average line and apply settings to click on add line. And you will see that there's, a, uh, there's automatically an average line being added over here. Let's quickly rename this and call this as average. Okay. And then data label, let's turn this on so that we will see what is over here and let's also change this style to both so that we know that this is the average that we are seeing over here display units and value decimal i'm gonna leave it at zero okay so we now we have now added a average line to this particular chart so now we will have to create two measures i'm gonna quickly go here click on new measure and let me just zoom in over here what's happening okay let me just zoom in over here and I'm going to call this as average sales is equals to I'm going to use the average X function over here. I'm going to say all selected and uh, I've selected the year month over here. So I'm going to select year month here as well. Close the bracket comma and then I'm going to use the total sales measure that I have in my table. I'm going to close the bracket. So if you want to see what is the total sales that I have used over here. This is what it is. Calculate sum of, sorry, it is profit. Let me, okay, let's leave it at profit for now. You can choose whatever column that you want over here, okay? And now we've created the uh, uh, measure here, which is checking the uh, average of the particular sales amount. So let me quickly add this here to the secondary values and see what is happening. And you will see here it is we've created a, another line over here and the secondary value here it is around 8k that's what is being displayed here which is 7787 okay so let's quickly get rid of this this is just to check that the average is working fine and now we will create another measure over here go here click on new measure okay and then let's call this as average conditional format is equals to and then here I'm going to say if total sales is greater than average sales then it, this needs to be green okay else this needs to be red I'm going to close the bracket here and press enter and now what we need to apply the conditional formatting so let's go here to the format tab and if you go to the lines over here go to the lines over here and under colors you will see that we only have one color option we don't have the conditional formatting option over here so we will have to use a workaround over here so we will go back to format visual here and then change the chart style to a clustered column chart okay so once we have this let's now go back to the format visual and under uh, columns you will see that we now have the conditional formatting option so we'll click on this here and then click on field value and we'll select the uh, measure that we created which was uh, conditional for average conditional format okay i'm going to select this and click on okay you will see that anything that is above the average line has been marked as green and anything below the average line has been marked as red. So let me go here, quickly sort access by year month. Okay, we've now got this sorted. So now 
we will go back here and change this to a line chart so the moment you do that you will see that it is now displaying in the right format as in anything that is above the uh, uh, average is green and below the average is red the format the sort is lost here so i'm going to quickly resort this again and you will see that we've now formatted anything above the average is green and anything below the average is red and now this will also work along with a slicer let's say you want to add a slicer uh, for the category uh, as an example so i have the category over here i'm going to bring in category here in my values as well and say count distinct so that it is equal and then go here and turn off my title and let us quickly format this so now i've created a slicer over here which is nice looking one compared to the default slicer so if i click on furniture over here the values change so does the for conditional formatting likewise for office supplies or for technology so isn't this cool to have this in your dashboard and uh, make it look even more nicer than what you already have right so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials